Alright everybody, welcome back to Legends of Ruterra. Today we have another deck to look at. This time we're going to be looking at Spell Fiora. Now, the thing with Spell Fiora is it is a deck that is heavily reliant on spells. And in fact, there's only four different types of units. Well, five actually, if you include... Yeah. Five. We have Fiora, River Shaper, Shadow Assassin, Laurent Blade Keeper, and Karma. Those are the only units in the deck. Everything else is spells. And this the whole idea behind this deck is to utilize standalone on these three drops when when turn three comes around and sort of snowball from there. With all our combat tricks and denials, and if if we can't win it early from that, then we re we rely on karma and hurt the massive value that she produces to get us through and win. And that's the whole point of this deck: chain vest, health potion, single combat. All of these things are just used to help us survive and help our units to to survive as well. And that's the basis of the deck. We're going to see how it does right now. We'll jump right into it. Now, I don't think I've really focused on talking about Fiora and what my thoughts about Fiora are. If I were to sum up my thoughts on Fiora, I think that she's a very fun champion that provides an external way of victory in this game. Not external, an alternative, that's a better word. Alternative better way to win the game. And that's fun. And I like how it, there's lots of different ways you can counter that alternate way to win. There's a lot of interaction there. And I like it a lot. And we're against an Ezreal deck. Okay. Well, the thing is, if we get shot... Ooh. Okay. So we're going. We got Fiora. Now we're going to mill for a standalone. We didn't get standalone. That is upsetting, but that's okay. We have three turns to draw into it. <laughs> three turns to draw into it. I forgot to change my board again. <gasps> All right. Alright, alright, alright. 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 The worst part of all of this is that if he has... If he has Thermo Beam, I'm done for. I probably should have waited. If he has Thermo, it's all ogre. Let them eat swords? Let them eat swords. Alright. And here comes the Thermo! Be. I fucking hate... <laughs> Oh, I hate that. <sighs> Should have waited. Now I don't have any minions. He dropped Ezreal extremely early. I don't have any minions to play, though. So, suck it? Oh, boy. This is... Awkward! It's awkward. Stop! I only have two chain vests! Oh my god. This is terrible. I should have waited. I should have waited. I oh, have the most dead hand. One could possibly ask for. Yay. 
Now the only thing that will save me is probably karma. So if I could top deck karma, that would be wonderful. All right. Um. Hmm. I guess you're seeing the weakness of this entire deck is if you, your minion that you're so, you really want to get down early, uh, dies, uh, you're screwed. Might as well lose. Oh, uh, yes. Quite. Huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I kill it. If he's smart enough, he'll uh, he'll spend those mushrooms right now. Or do something. Ay, ay, ay. This game is over. We all know it. Uh, this is so... <laughs> That's frustrating. <laughs> all right. Let's have at it. Learn. From my mistakes. Do not. And I repeat. Do not. Willy nilly. Put down. Your Fiora. Without backup. Without proper backup. Alright. Even if I had standalone there. It wouldn't have been good. Okay this is actually a good hand. Uh, Purify is not going to do, do me much in this matchup. All right. All right, you already. Unless we get the Fiora. Nope, all right. We're going. <laughs> Stand alone, brother. Stand alone. Okay. Do I want to... Okay, so what's the likelihood that he's going to freeze? I don't know, but we're doing it. That's eight damage to face. Avaros and out. Oh! 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 That feels bad. Oh my gosh. I mean, that deck doesn't have anything to do with elusives, and I just, mmm. That's, that's sort of the experience I've been having with this deck. I either lose really hard, or I win really hard. And then sometimes it gets dragged out because we have karma. <laughs> the most painful part is when you're against a control deck, and you, and you actually have been benefiting with karma and you still lose out in the end oh i hate that i really do and this is not a good hand that's just completely mill Ooh, yay we get our minions that's always good because we have plenty of spells to draw into perhaps we'll actually get to use fiora this time imagine imagine using fiora imagine imagine Uh, dude, it's your turn. Big brain. 
Hmm, am I going to attack? Am I going to attack? Hmm, let me think about it. Hmm, what am I going to do? Hmm, maybe I'll play my two drop. Hmm, or my one drop that I got. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I think I want to do this. I want to get rid of that. That's a pain. Get my draw. All right, we'll do this. We're going to see if we can win with Fiora. Ooh, this is nice. Counter and strike. Okay, interesting. That was interesting. I think I'll pass. Yeah, I'm just going to pass for now. Um, why is he playing Poros? He's playing right into it. I don't... Uh, and he doesn't get the... I don't understand. Is this dude throwing? He must be throwing, right? He must be, right? I... He must be throwing, right? Because I just win now. Uh, does he not know Fiora? <laughs> well then. <laughs> I guess he was in for a rude awakening. I guess he was in for a rude awakening. Oh, man. Well, I guess that really sums up this deck in a nutshell now, doesn't it? It's a very feast or famine deck. You either pop off and win within, like, three or four turns, or you are doomed to a, a slow or quick demise, depending on if you get karma or not. And, I mean, karma can sometimes pull out the win, but if you're, like, against, like, a control deck that's like, really designed to fight in that late game, especially if you're against another Karma. Yeah, that's gonna be a toughie right there. But, all said and done, it's a very fun deck. Very interesting. I like it a lot. And with that being said, that's Big Turtles signing out. I'll see you all next time. Have a great one. Bye bye